Hey there, Rebel Nation. Cassie Soto, Mark Anderson here at Sam Boyd Stadium, where the Rebels had not only their first practice here, but their first full padded practice. Mark, before we get into it, let's go ahead to, and hear what head coach Tony Sanchez and uh, Charles Williams had to say about it. I'll be honest with you, here's the funny thing is, um, Normally, I would say yes. I don't know so much with this group. This group, they get intense about the weight room. They're intense about, you know, they get conditioning, first day, of, you know, just helmets are running around. I mean, the energy level with this group's really been good, and the intensity and focus level's been fantastic. So, obviously, it's a lot more physical, but, I mean, the first day we got in shoulder pads, we had to kind of, whoa, relax. I mean, they were out there. They thought they were in a full pad of practice, you know, flying around. So, um, they, they bring the intensity every day. Uh, I feel like the offense is more prepared. You know, we're, we're knowing that we're going to go live, and then, People also, you know, come with more intensity, like, all right, full gear. So, you know, I got to come and show everything because it's basically like the closest you're going to get to a, a game-like experience. All right, Mark. Well, you hear what they had to say. Coach Tony Sanchez saying that the intensity is always there. It's not any different once these guys get right. full pads on. Is that kind of what you saw? Yeah, it didn't strike me as that different or practice than when I seen this camp. No, camp is like, what, five days in? Yeah. So it's not like we're talking a month. But, yeah, they've been pretty intense all practice and all, all camp. And, you know, it's, it seems like a professional type practice in a way. They're going about their business. Guys are knowing or doing what they're supposed to do. Well, as far as the guys, anyone you saw in particular, any group that you saw that really stood out to you? Randall Grimes seems to still make progress. You know, he caught a lot of passes tonight. He's had a really good camp. Armani Rodgers keeps th getting better and better with his completion percentage. And I thought the guys in defense made some good plays. Bryce Jackson had a one-handed pick, had another interception later that was called back from defensive interference, but, you know, let's count it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, as you you guys can tell on uh, camera here it is nighttime yes. because well the first two rebel games are 7 p.m. kickoffs why is that important to get these guys sort of acclimated to a late night kick well, you get the body clock. That's what it is. You get to know how to prepare all day. So I'm sure they didn't just show up tonight and this go to practice. They probably went through a whole schedule today about this is what we do at this time, this is what we do at that time. Get them getting ready for when those kickoffs come. And you know, and it's pretty humid right now. And this could be a big home field advantage first couple of weeks. You know, it's a little humidity, some heat. All right. Well, the heat is not going anywhere anytime soon. Neither is football. We're about a three weeks away from kickoff. Very first Rebel game, August 31st against Southern Utah. Mark and I will be there. I'm sure bringing you all the Rebel coverage at ReviewJournal.com. For Mark Anderson, I'm Cassie Soto. Thanks for watching.